Why don't you use a brick? Yeah, a brick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go up to a brick on the next round. What is wrong with you? I was even willing you up then. Guys, this Good morning, again. everybody. It is Monday morning. It's Nick at BP and Man oh, Like man, folds, it. folds It. We've just gone on a little trip to the Builders Merchant, Frankie's at Arnold or Daybrook, and we've picked up some gravel and some soldiers to get this job finished absolutely wounding it just ran slightly over on friday so we couldn't finish it so today we'll uh literally have got a couple of hours which is a blessing because it's quite miserable and, and drizzly this morning so we'll have an easy day today and then we're starting a new job um tomorrow which will be um we've got a new patio to install and some little retaining walls and so on um so we'll get stuck into that tomorrow so yeah we're just gonna take a little cruise back now we'll drive back to the job um, and we'll get you some uh, some footage of it whackered and, and finished and whatever, and then we'll move on to the next job. Um, yeah. Okay, so we are nearly complete. We've just got a soil up around these borders and so on. Everything's in. A bit of moisture's come out of the manhole where it holds in the tray from the rain. Yeah, it's looking good. All the air bricks are clear. All been blocked round. So a bit sandy. These jobs are always sandy at the end of them. Tarmac's all done. Pillars in. So obviously the wall came to like here and we've chopped it back and moved the pillar so it's got a bigger entrance. So the customer's happy, that's what counts. All the blocks and things stacked up, ready to go. Just tidy up and off we go. Nick at BNP Paving. So it's another day and another dollar. We're starting a new job today in Arnold, which is a small retained patio. Um, we have to do things a bit back to front. We're struggling to get a brick layer early on. So ideally I'd have liked to put the wall in. Uh, so I think me and Chris are gonna drop the block work in and uh, then we're gonna get the patio in and everything in. And then the brick layer is gonna come at the weekend and do the brick work or Thursday, Friday. So a little bit back to front, but such as life, um, it's all about getting the job done as quick as pos, so to speak. So yeah, um, I'll hop out this van in a mo and we'll have a little look around and I'll show you guys what we're up against this week. Um, also, I'd like to thank you all for watching and subscribing. It means the world to us. Uh, love all your comments. Obviously, I do read them on Sunday. They do make me laugh. Um, so yeah, keep them up. It's funny. Um, yeah, and we've not had too many nasty ones of late, so I think people are going to get the message that uh, we just block you. <laughs> you only get two chances, you're gone. So yeah, um, right. The temperatures dropped again, so it's, I think it's just above freezing, if not exactly on the button. I think it's actually at zero degrees, um, so that'll make things more entertaining. Um, uh, yeah, let's get out and have a little look round and um, see what's happening. Right, so first hassle of the day. Obviously, it's looked a bit wider when we uh, came out of look yesterday, but uh, it's quite narrow, so we just had to squeeze a digger down here. But uh, we've made it through. There's a little tiny bit of uh, collateral damage to this tree, but uh, the customers bought it out and pruned it anyway. So it is what it is. It's either that or higher one for 300 quid. So here you go. Ready to rock and roll. So the job is. Retaining wall, oh, hang on. Retaining wall along here, returning to a 90 degree here, 
returning, returning back into this mound here, patio area on here, a new pathway connecting to. So uh, yeah, let's get Baron some stuff out. Can't believe two of you have to carry one of them. I used to carry two of them at a time when I was a when I was your age. Sure, Used to lay forty thousand meters in a day as well. All right, Chris. <laughs> you don't know you're born. So this is what's happening. Chris is loading up the muck, all the excess ground from the back, loading it into barrows, and then Paul, Connell, and Ryan are having to run it all the way around the front. Right, so as you can see, just loaded a barrel up. We've got to go all the way around the house. All the way to the front. Where Connell will tip it beautifully on wow. the pile. You're like the Debbie McGee of the job, aren't you? My beautiful assistant. I'm just a rock. You're a rock. The foundation of BMP Baby. There you go. You're the glue that holds us all together, Folds. Without me, it all goes down the pan. You were going to swear then, weren't yeah, you? Was. You were. <laughs> you stopped yourself. But I'm proud of you because a couple of months ago, you weren't capable of that. No, You'd have come out with some tirade of abuse that cannot be shown on the internet. Basically, yeah. yeah, I'm really proud of you. Maybe your Tourette's is finally cured. Mate, you're, you're pathetic. You're useless. You swing a sledgehammer like an old lady. And as for you, you are, you are pathetic. Round number one of ball bashers. Connell the... Let me tuck my tongs in, I can't oh, look at this video. Hey, you got to look professional. Hang on. Wait, wait. Ready? I'm not ready. Don't go cray cray. I'm not going to go hard. You ready? We're ready. Ooh, on the left. It's a mess for Mr. Fords. No, he's got to do uphill. Oh, you're doing it uphill? Yeah. Same distance. Oh, that's closer than I was. Oh, is, is it? Yeah, no, that's about right. That's right, same. Come on, let me go black. Oh, that's it's terrible. a miss. It's a miss. Oh. Two men enter, Ooh. one man leaves. <laughs> you call it Rochambeau, don't you? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, that's not the leg anyway. Why don't you use a brick? Yeah, a brick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go up to a brick on the next round. What is wrong with you? I was even willing you up then. Guys, this has been good. I was cheering him on. One minute, ten seconds. Woo. It's got to be the final one. Oh my god. Guys, what is going on? One minute, hey, 22 seconds. Connor, oh, just aim for the inside of his, of your right. Oh, oh you God. see, that was, <laughs> that was close. Okay, I've got the winter, winter spread on. You need to aim just on the ins, on the right and your right hand side. Connor's got a little curve in it though, I <laughs> Don't hit him in his chippy tip. Oh. Come on, chippy tips, you're up. It is. It's really difficult. It's hard, man. Right, that's round. That's round, yeah. Make it count. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Oh my god. Why don't you stand closer? To be fair, you are against the, you are against the Jedi. Don't Why don't you stand a little bit closer? Two minutes now. It's not going to do it. Ooh. It's going to be it inside of the fire. Wee. Oh, we broke it now. Don't Two minutes, 20 seconds. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> right, let's call cool. it. We're both useless. We're both useless. So, I'm real. <laughs> Sorry, come in. Been here too long, mate. You know. So, the pile is coming together nicely. What do you reckon we're at now, boys? Seven. Yeah, something six. like that. Seven ton. Huh? Yeah, it's inside. That's what we're on. You can't say that. You're out of order. I can't say it. There's, there's Little boys and girls would love to have a life like you. Can you imagine how, many, how lucky you are to have a father figure like me in your life? Yeah, but I could be rich. Hey? I could be a multi-millionaire. Yeah, and you could be, uh, I don't know. Got a kid for his ear, Yeah. No, I was going to think of something that's really good. You could be a professional footballer, but you're not good at that either. Oh, terrible. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> right. Morning peeps, we're here, we're getting it done. It's cold, it's minus two, we're working on the worst road in Nottingham for parking. Every time we work on this road, we get nothing but abuse. Someone's parked there, we've had to park there. So what happens is, if you park on here, you block the road, and then everyone screams at you. And if you park on there, all the mums who take the kids to school leave dirty complaints on Google about you and shout abuse at you. So we're in a lose-lose situation today. These boys are looking happy. Just telling the good people of YouTube about this road, how crap oh, it is. Amazing. The worst road in that time. There's Dave. Hi Dave. What's the hat? You got the top of the freezer. John hat. B&P hat. The itch. Buddy. There's customer lot. <laughs> yeah, boy. Right, let's get a time lapse of this gone. He's in good spirits. Good morning. To level now we've got it lower than we need it to be because obviously when we put retaining walls in we'll fill it back up with stone well, um the top of the actual level of the slab is going to be sort of the height of this concrete here so we're already like six inches lower um which is plenty for a patio so um yeah another hour or so probably getting it dug out then we'll start getting these footings dug so it's going to come out here our customer decided to go diagonally now and then it'll just, it'll just come to here and return square and uh, get the block working tomorrow. Right, so things are starting to see shape. As you saw, DJ's come and took all the muckaways, bring some stone back. We're just installing these footings, which have got to run all the way along here to this end. So we've got a straight run into a diagonal and another straight run. Uh, retaining wall's not too high, actually. It's about four course total, we think. So um, that'll be, well, should be in tomorrow and Friday. Um, and in the meantime, we'll get all this stoned up and start getting the slabs around ready to lay it all. So, yeah, it is uh, slowly taking shape. Right, folks, footings in. All the way around. Going to start banging the blocks in now. Get the stone in. We've got eight ton of stone, I believe, out here from Mr. D&J. Oh, hello. Snowing in March. This is what we've come to be out in this world. Snow, middle of March. Frostproof again to the rescue, so we're frostproofing everything. Hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, the last patio we used it on that one in January, if you remember, was perfect. I've been back recently and checked that, and that is absolutely solid. So it's done its job, and hopefully it'll be okay here. Get all this stone banged in. 
Nick's banging them blocks in there, round here, and away we go. Sither! Okay, so that's all the footings and block work in. It's only one course of six inch block. Appreciate the jointing up's not amazing, but it's all going behind brick tomorrow. So it's better to have it all just gobbled up quick. We're, it's, it's snowing. So we're just try, <laughs> trying to get in as quick as we can. Um, so yeah, that's all in and ready to go. Hopefully if the weather's better tomorrow, weather permitting, we can get the uh, brick area tomorrow. So we're just gonna start bringing the stone around now. Get it up to level. However, we can't really backfill against the wall yet because we need it all to set and go off overnight. Um, so yeah, we'll flick over to a time lapse and we'll get this stone in. Good morning everybody, it's Nick at BNP Paving. Well, 2023 so far is kicking my ass. Literally, nightmare after nightmare. So the weather has now took a turn for the worst. Uh, I have got a brick layer coming in today to do some brick work. I'm not sure we're gonna, we're gonna get done. The temperature has risen to one degree, so with some form of frost proofer and um, Pestying over the wall and so on. It's only quite a small amount of brickwork. It could be okay, but it's realistically, if he's prepared to work in these conditions, like we're uh, we're getting, um, you know, it, it's a crimp to working in rain all day, isn't it? So, and as we said before, we all know that bricklayers are made of rice paper. So there's a good chance if he gets wet at all, it could dissolve. So um, I've got a, I've got a good feeling that he might phone in sick. However not sick, rained off. However, us boys of usual, there's stuff we've got to do. We've probably got to get the slabs around the back because um, the crate arrived yesterday. Uh, we've got bricks arriving, all the gears come in. We've got three ton of stone to move because we over ordered. Um, we need to get them bolt bags on the front. So yeah, we're unfortunately gonna probably have to do a good few hours in it and um, get drenched. Um, we'll see how it transpires, but there's a good chance we're gonna have hold ups this week and not really get a lot done. Um, so we've got the block work in, brickwork should have been in today in the copers and so that would be complete. Just a case of laying the slabs, membraning and graveling it up. Um, made that sound really quick. Couple of, there's about two, three days left on the job, but obviously I've got a feeling we're gonna lose maybe today and tomorrow. It could also affect this video. It's gonna be very difficult to film anything. Um, and obviously if we're not working cause of the weather, I'm not really sure what I can, what I can put in. So, uh, We'll have to see how it goes. So if that is the case, guys, I do apologize. As you say, these things happen. Um, so yeah, wait for Johnny's to arrive and we shall um, crack on. just arrived however the materials are coming to Moffat which is a forklifty thing so we're on quite a busy main road this sausage is double parked so it's gonna cause mayhem so he's got to come out unload and bring the stuff in on the forklift and down this drive into here so um, yeah it's gonna cause mayhem so what I plan to do is hide in the garden so no one sees me and shouts at me so it's just an absolute headache but um, yeah We'll keep battling on. I think sometimes you've just got to let go. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to get things done on time, but just this time of year and with what's currently going on, you have to just let go and let it be. And 
just realise it's not going to go the way you want it to and you're going to have to, I mean, currently now I think I've got four or five jobs booked in after this one, which now because of this weather means I have to move everything around. I've got to move every job because um, the chance of the next job wanting to move to the end of the pile is slim, so you have to just rearrange everything. So it'll probably take me three hours to re reschedule everybody, but <sighs> you just got to go with it, right? So it looks like I'd say rain stops play. You can tell by the brightness. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing much today. So it's now Thursday. We've got no patio laid. I mean, what can you do? I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, it's Friday tomorrow. It's looking doubtful. So you guys, I just apologise if this week's video is absolutely pants because if I can't do anything, we can't video it. So yeah, take a look. Beautiful British summer. Well, it's not summer, but you know what I mean. So wonder what you guys, some of you guys are from abroad, I bet you're having better weather than us.